Oh, I have to share something with you. Doctors are pretty amazing. The things that they can do, you fall down and you cut yourself, they stitch it up, and in no time at all, you're as good as new. You fall off the monkey bars and, and break your arm, and you go to the hospital or the urgent care and they put a cast on it, and in a short amount of time, you're as good as new. Doctors are pretty amazing about what they do. There's been people that have had accidents or injuries where they've cut off their arm or their hand and doctors have been able to reattach that arm or that hand. And it's almost as good as new. That's pretty amazing. But you know what? The one thing that doctors can't do is they cannot fix the brain. Once you've injured your brain, it's injured for always. So if you fall and cut it open, they can't stitch it up and pretty soon it's as good as new. You fall and break open your head, they can't put a cast on it and it's as good as new. Once you've injured your brain, it's injured for always. And depending on where that injury is, you may not be able to talk anymore. That would be really hard for Miss Melanie because I like to talk a lot. You may not be able to walk anymore or use your hands. So it's very, very, very important that we protect our heads because inside our heads is our brains and brains cannot be fixed. Once they're injured, they're injured for always. So in the fire department, we wear fire helmets. I have to tell you that wearing these helmets gives us a bad hair day. Makes our hair stand up when we've worn them. Makes our hair all flat to our face. And also, these helmets are heavy. And so to wear them is a little bit heavy on the head. But you will see that Firefighters wear their helmets to protect their head, which is protecting their brain. Miss Melanie has a picture of a firefighter just about ready to go into a fire, which is a very dangerous place. And he's got his helmet on. And you will see that our firefighters wear their helmets every time. Let's take a look at some other jobs and some other sports and see if they wear helmets too. Oh, I have to share something with you. Doctors are pretty amazing. The things that they can do, you fall down and you cut yourself, they stitch it up and in no time at all, you're as good as new. You fall off the monkey bars and, and break your arm and you go to the hospital or the urgent care and they put a cast on it, and in a short amount of time, you're as good as new. Doctors are pretty amazing about what they do. There's been people that have had accidents or injuries where they've cut off their arm or their hand, and doctors have been able to reattach that arm or that hand, and it's almost as good as new. That's pretty amazing. But you know what? The one thing that doctors can't do is they cannot fix the brain. Once you've injured your brain, it's injured for always. So if you fall and cut it open, they can't stitch it up and pretty soon it's as good as new. You fall and break open your head, they can't put a cast on it and it's as good as new. Once you've injured your brain, it's injured for always. And depending on where that injury is, you may not be able to talk anymore. That would be really hard for Miss Melanie because I like to talk a lot. You may not be able to walk anymore or use your hands. So it's very, very, very important that we protect our heads because inside our heads is our brains and brains cannot be fixed. Once they're injured, they're injured for always.
So in the fire department, we wear fire helmets. I have to tell you that wearing these helmets gives us a bad hair day. Makes our hair stand up when we've worn them. Makes our hair all flat to our face. It also, these helmets are heavy. And so to wear them is a little bit heavy on the head. But you will see that firefighters wear their helmets to protect their head, which is protecting their brain. Miss Melanie has a picture of a firefighter just about ready to go into a fire, which is a very dangerous place. And he's got his helmet on. And you will see that our firefighters wear their helmets every time. Let's take a look at some other jobs and some other sports and see if they wear helmets too. When I want. So this is what we call the SWAT team, which is specialized police officers that have been trained to keep us safe. And they wear helmets to protect their heads because they're going into some very dangerous places. Let's take a look and see what else we see. Oh, this is people that are in the service. They are protecting our country. So we should protect them and you'll see that they wear helmets as well. If they're protecting our country, we want to protect them from bullets and bombs and things and from getting a brain injury too. So I do have one of their helmets. This one is one that's what they call camouflage. So it blends in with the scenery. Um, it also is a very hard helmet and would protect their heads as well. So some of you may have family members such as moms or dads or uncles or aunts or even brothers or sisters that are in the service. And we respect them utmost because they are protecting our country. They are protecting us. This is another job that you may see, construction. And they call these hard hats. And I can imagine some dangerous things happen in construction, such as maybe a board comes loose and might hit you in the head. Or maybe a hammer falls from the second story window you would be glad that you had a hard hat on to protect your head, to protect your brain. Oh my gosh, this is a fun sport. Miss Melanie loves this one. This is hockey. And I love watching the Thunderbirds play hockey game, but it gets pretty scary, pretty dangerous because those hockey sticks go everywhere and so does a hockey puck which is what they hit with those sticks and they try to score a goal. So you can only imagine how dangerous that could be and how awful it would be if one of those hockey sticks hit you in the head. So you'll see that they have a special helmet here that also has a cage on it so that it protects their mouth and their eyes. I suppose their nose too. And then it also is hard so that it protects their brain, their head. So that is a hockey helmet. Oh my gosh, I love baseball. Baseball is a, a great sport. Let me ask you this. Do they wear helmets the entire game? And where, when do they put a helmet on? When they're batting the ball. Miss Melanie was at one of the Mariner games and they whacked that ball so hard with the bat that the bat split in two and went up in the air and came down on top of the batter's head. Do you think he was glad he had a helmet on? Yeah. Then they also wear those helmets as they're going around the bases. You can only imagine what a ball would feel like being hit in the head. You'd be glad you had a helmet on your head too. And some of those players get a little rough too. So baseball, they wear helmets as well. This is a sport that's really popular. We see people riding their bicycles on the streets, um, on trails. Miss Melanie just likes to ride. So you'll see that these are actually bicyclists that are racing and they've got helmets on too. Now remember, these are good 
bicyclists. They're, they're been putting on some mileage, so they're pretty good, and yet they still wear helmets. I'd like to show you um, some of the helmets that we have for uh, people that ride their bikes. Uh, the one that we call a multi-purpose helmet is this one here. And this one is for rollerblading, skateboarding, and you can also use it when you're riding your bicycle. And it just um, is the shape of the helmet, so it protects your head. So this is a, a, a multi-purpose helmet. This one is my favorite because it is a multi-purpose helmet, but it looks like a brain, so I really like this one. The type of helmet that Miss Melanie wears is, is this one here when she rides her bicycle. I like it because it has a visor that keeps the sun out of my eyes and sometimes the rain as well. But I also know that kids and adults that wear helmets, sometimes they just wear the helmet with it dangling, the straps dangling down and not fastened on their head. And what ends up happening is if they have a crash, they go one way and their helmets go the other. So you might as well not wear a helmet at all. So it's really, really important that you make sure that helmet fits snug on your head and that it also is one to two fingers above your eyebrow, forms a V at your ears and is so snug that um, you can feel it under your chin. So I always go K -k -k. So let's try that. One to two fingers, forms a V, snug under the chin. K -k -k. Faster. One to two fingers, forms a V. K -k -k. One to two fingers, forms a V. K -k -k. Let's see if you guys can do that at home too. I have a true story to share with you. My son was bicycling really super fast down a super, super steep hill because he likes to go fast on his bicycle. He ended up hitting a rock and he went flying over his handlebars. The neighbor thought that he hit the mailbox because he heard such a loud bang. And it wasn't, it was his helmet hitting the street and the helmet split in two. Can you imagine if he wasn't wearing a helmet, his head would have been split in two. So he was very grateful that he had a helmet. And you know, the only other thing that was injured on him was, we call it road rash, where he got scraped up from the road scraping him. So very good. Police officers also are very trained at riding bikes. They get trained in classes and stuff. <clears throat> So these police officers have had crashes too where they've split their helmets in half. So if moms or dads or kids think they're super good on bicycles, you never know and you always want to protect your head. Here in Washington, it is the law to wear a helmet. It doesn't matter if you're a two-year-old or a 75-year-old or a 100-year-old. If you're riding your bike, it is the law and they can ticket you. And I think the tickets now are over a hundred dollars. So I can think of a lot better things I'd rather spend my money on than paying for a ticket because I didn't wear a helmet. So boys and girls, we want you to be safe on your bicycles each and every time that you ride your bike. Make sure you put the helmet on.